What do you do? What do you do, YouTube man? It is your boy Porsche, man, and welcome to Are You Afraid of the Dark? This is number four, man, because as you can see, I'm a lot I live stream in the dark, playing video where horror games, and now I also react to horror videos in the dark. You know what I'm saying? So uh what we're about to look at now is called uh police archives. It's a five now. It's a five nights at Freddy's VHS tape. Y'all send it to me. So we about to see what's popping, bro. Yeah. But the last one I watched, bro. All right, let's go. Crazy. Hello, this gentlemen. Special agent go. Edwards of the FBI. And this is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you two. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation. Bro, and this is the police sergeant, David Miller. Please take a seat. All right. Don't so, be like this the whole time? Go ahead and give us the rundown on this case. Everything you guys know and everything you guys are suspicious of. If I'm not mistaken, this is a case of a serial murder, is that correct? I saw it done. Yes, sir. As well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. This first case involved a man named Sean Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. On the night of August 19th, 1985, around 2 o'clock, he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been missing ever since. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who lived close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. They reported hearing a lot of gunshots, some recognized it as a shotgun blast, that came from the parking lot during the night. When we arrived on scene after a disturbance call about it that evening, we found shattered glass from a broken window pane that landed on the outside of the building. Animatronics doing drive-bys now? What is going on? Freddy out here got a double bear shotgun? We did manage to find a small blood sample on the ground as well as fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual was killer was. What I watched. So we asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was that Mr. Roberts had requested that the building's power be shut off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. So, with the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any time, Nobody could exactly prove that the company itself was involved, so we eventually just passed this case off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door, figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place, saw mm -hmm. Mr. Roberts approaching the building, and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Afterwards, he spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. Wow. And then another case came up about a few months after that, on March 15, 1986. The family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics, their LLC sister company, filed a report about their missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event, or again, had maybe caught it on camera. Again, they said no, and when they looked back at the camera footage, it cuts off about the time that it could have happened, so they inferred that maybe that their building power had randomly shut off. So again, nobody at the time could prove they were Why responsible for the disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. Mm. So we kept a closer eye on it this time. Finally, the smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was a new hire for the company and reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift on October 29th, 1986. Again, no. Are you getting bopped on the first night, bro? He's not, bro. He don't know how to play finance and raise, bro. Bro, you getting bopped on the first night, bro? Get your ass. Evidence of a crime could be found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, they agreed, but discovered it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as soon as they went to look for it. So y'all start to sense a pattern here. Three missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. Mm. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Do also bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases relating to the company as well. I uh, unfortunately don't have the documents on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this, but what I do still have is everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families, costing the company millions in reparations and bringing them closer to bankruptcy. Oh I see. God. What about this guy you called last night? How does he fit into all this? <clears throat> well, as of now, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. In front of you is everything we could find on him in our archives. So he confessed that he murdered the four kids, Gabriel Martin, Jeremy and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robinson, 
as well as the additional three cases we just talked about, claiming that they were too close to discovering the truth. Mm. Which is? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. We asked where the bodies were, he said nothing. We asked how long he's been doing this, he said nothing. And he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now even after letting the cat out of the bag. Bad. Also, his responses don't seem very genuine. Don't seem genuine? Are you sure he's not just trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. Mm. Well, if there's a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Well, we just think the situation is a bit too good to be true. Mm. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks. It was too easy to catch him. I'll say, son of a bitch pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't try to fight, resist, escape, nothing. So what? Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. Thought he could pull a fast one on us last night and we got him. All I'm no, saying. bro. That see, that's what I'm talking about, bro. He trying to get the easy. He trying to get the easy way out, bro. If you get this guy, and the real dude, he's gonna do it again, man. Come on, man. That's sloppy, bro. This sloppy police work, bro. Like stop it, bro. I hope Foxy hit, but you like riddle. Oh my gosh. Is that there could be more to this case than was immediately apparent. Talk to him. There could be parts of this that we don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. Well, unfortunately, the court doesn't care about could be's. They're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? There is one thing, and it's another major reason we brought you guys in. One of our officers managed to record the whole ordeal that happened last night. However, there are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot show to the public. At you better show yet. me! All right, then. Show us what you got. Here we go. Only reason why I want to watch is because my favorite animal truck was in the thumbnail, and that was Foxy. That was Foxy. Is that camera rolling? Let's see. Yep, it says recording. All right, good. Should be coming up on them fairly soon. Which way are they heading? Should be the same direction we're going, just not exactly sure how far up they are. Keep an eye on both sides, though. Foxy been not running across this road, bro. Oh shit, is that them? Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. Why the hell are they driving so slow? Hmm, I don't know. They're probably trying to decide what to do. Let's go ahead and photo it now before they try something. 3 Echo 10 to dispatch, over. 3 Echo 10, go ahead. Yeah, we got a possible jackpot on that Bolo 4982 white GMC box truck currently heading northbound on 99. I thought he said Fortnite. I don't know. Roger, ready for the flight details. That LP is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. That's Juliet Golf Kilo 245. And it's a Wisconsin plate over. Three Ten, that's a positive ID. Vehicle was reported stolen from a rental service a few days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Multiple units reported seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. We pretty much just need to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. Ten for dispatch. Thanks for the assist. All right, let's pull them over. All right, he pulled up pretty fast. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to the driver's side, tell him what's going on, see if we can get the squared away. If he's a real copy, he'll touch the back. Yes, sir. All right. If he's a real copy, he'll touch the back of the uh, truck. If y'all know when y'all get pulled over, the cops be touching your car. There's something dealing with, all right, if they get, you know, something happened to him, he's not a real cop. He's not a real cop. How are you guys doing this evening? Alright, my name is Officer Dale. May I see the keys to the truck, please? It's crazy how they make these roads. Just want to make sure you don't take off and run on me now. Thank you very much. Alright, do you know why I stopped you just now? Well, there's a bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular bottle of vehicle. Now, I ran your plate just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. Hmm. Uh-huh. I wish we could hear him. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, this looks to be y'all's vehicle, so uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna assume anything, right? You know how companies like to make shit up all the time so you can rip people off, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. Alright, well, let's see if we can get this figured out. You have license registration on you? Perfect. I assume this is a commercial vehicle. Okay, let's see, you got your license for that. Alright, let me go ahead and rerun the stuff and see if we can get this issue squared away. Alright? Something. Okay. Alright, sit tight for me. What was wrong with his face, sir? You might follow the same for me. I'm gonna take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Wait, yeah, out where? Thing. Well, you got the keys. You don't need to be outside of the car. Three Echo 10 to dispatch. I forgot he got the gap. Three Echo 10, what you got? Got a commercial license I need you to check out for me. Ready for the details. License number is gonna be 126-266-79. That's 126-266-79. First name Oscar, last name Master. M A S T E R. He's a 34 year old white like male with short brownish black hair. Over. Uh, I'm not coming up with anything. Can I get a 10 on the number? 1 2 6 2 6 6 7 9. I got no one listed under that name. Is it expired? Negative dispatch. License says it'll expire in 92. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Oh. Well, they seem to be acting pretty calm pulling something like this, but... I'll tell my partner and we'll bring him in. Thanks for the help. Ten four. Hey, Daryl! Yeah, what's up? This is a fake ID. Shit, really? Just read the details to dispatch twice, and they came up with nothing both times. Well, is it expired? No, look, it says it expires in 92. Damn. Okay, then. All right, I'm going to get the driver out in a cuffs. Go ahead and walk around back and make sure his friend doesn't take off right. Ooh. Okay, will do. Bro, they had a trap door, bro. <coughs> the echo tend to dispatch. What did he do? He, did he fart in your mouth? Why are you coughing? Dispatch, can you read me? Boy, you might want to get back to the Can anyone hear me right now? Oh my gosh, Foxy's going to hear you. Foxy's going to hear you, bro. Oh, fucking great. Oh, he's broke. Daryl! Daryl, you still with me, buddy? God damn it, man. I'll make him fucking pay for this. This is 3 Echo 10. I got an officer down on 999 North. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Over. Does anyone read me? No. Oh my. Freedom's busted too. Oh my Fuck. gosh. God damn it, Daryl. The one time we need a spare! Ugh. All right, think, think! Why did he um, flash? 
Okay, I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all of this. Wait a minute. Where'd the hell they go? Why didn't they just take off in the truck? Well, they're up to something. They have to be. Is this thing still rolling? What, are you trying to get rid of the animatronics? Oh shit, it is. Okay. Let's see if I can find out where they went. Alright. Boy, what? It looks like they went off the right in this direction. So let's see if I can catch up to them. I don't want to watch this no more. I don't care what that thing is. No one's getting away from me that easily. Not after what they did tonight. Well, will you stop rubbing that mic against your tan? Damn. What is this place? Looks abandoned. You couldn't drive? You couldn't or drive? At least pretty run down. It's gotta be a mall or something. What the hell are they doing in a place like this? Oh my gosh, bro. I don't wanna get jump scared. This must be where they broke in. Or at least where someone broke in. Foxy didn't do that. Foxy was just bust through the door, bro. Jesus, this place definitely looks bigger on the inside. I mean, it looks fairly intact, but my God, did they let this place go. My man, your man is out there leaking in the middle of the street. You worried about how this place looks? Like, hey, come down. Was that Foxy in there? These are the old businesses they closed I down. Fox was in the wall hiding. I'm tripping. Architecture Whoa. looks super retro, though. This yes, place sir. had to be built in like the late '60s, to early '70s, at least. We're, we're, like, bro, we don't. We're not asking you all this. Why are you telling us, dude? I wonder if there's still. Uh, no way. How is there still power in this place? Well, if there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. I gotta make sure backup knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. Put a little pep in your step, Dan, man. You trying to give us a tour? Put a little pep I in your step, I think that's a bro. map right there. Let's see if I can find the office buildings. I'm scared. Okay, let's see. Office, 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 office. Uh, ah, here. Okay. Second floor on the east side. All right, let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. <gasps> Wait. A meeting. How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? Will you quit your fucking bitching and hand me the pliers? Ah, I see. They're scrappers. I wonder what they need all that for, though. They're scrappers. What are scrappers? So they go to old places and get, like... They, like, with the animal turn, what are they gonna try to sell them? Okay, I got it. Open the bag. Why are you getting close? I heard that! Who's there? Hey! Who's that? Oh, fuck it. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the fuck? Oh, your movement is crazy. Foxy here and all this. It's just him. Come on, let's go. Now, hurry up. Foxy here and all this. The fact that he's vlogging all this is crazy. 
You guys think this is a fucking game? Come out with your hands up! Now! Who's that? This Foxy! What the hell? You might want to run, my boy. You might Holy wanna... shit! Got him sounding like yucks, bro. <laughs> He wasn't breathing. God, I hate that thing. You know what? I gotta get back up here now. These V8 um, S tapes are so fire, bro. I should be in the dark. Is just stupid, though. Oh, come on. That noise is tripping me out. Yes! There we go! God damn it! It's locked! Yeah, Foxy going here. Uh, fuck it. Uh. Ah! Yes! Still works! Alright, let's send in the cavalry. Come on, come on, pick up! Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. This sound like a fucking prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. Hmm. I think I heard something. Ah, shit. We got the camera. Vlog Just give me all. some backup, damn it. I know you didn't hang up, bro. She needs to hear all this if she don't believe you, bro. She needs to hear all this. He got to one of the phones! Ah, fucking shit! Alright, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. We can't let the cops find it. It's gotta come with us. <sighs> don't make me regret this. What? Come on, we're on the clock. Bro, what are you doing to bro, what is he doing to the camera man? Was that a nun? What was that? Shit, 
Jesus! What the fuck? Bro, he's right there in front of you. There he is! Oh shit! How you like that, you coward? Let's see you run. I hate that you did that to my boy, but smart. Okay. Get away from him, bro. He's a goon. He's a goon. Get away from him. Oh my god. I didn't think that would actually work. About fucking time. He forgot about the other two though, bro. He forgot about the other two. Or three. All I saw was Chica and Bonnie though. Freeze! Hands up! Blue! Blue! Don't shoot! I'm with you guys! Identify yourself! Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD! Wait, Clyde? Y yeah! Yeah, Sarge, it's me! Holy shit! Stand down! He's with us! Oh my god! That would have been a crazy thought we had lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios are busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl then? Wasted, Sarge. He got shot up pretty bad. I Wasted think he's dead. is crazy! Damn it! Wasted right. is crazy! Where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me! This is Call of Duty, relax. I got my head bashed pretty hard and I'm shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. Can you fight? I'll try. Alright, good. We need all the help we can get before they escape. What do they look like? Hard to tell. Both of them were in ski masks and all black. It seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. Mm. Alright. Bravo! Charlie! Sweep this building! Let's smoke these guys out! The rest of you are on me! Let's move! They about to smoke him! I don't think they're gonna make it though, bro. It's animatronics in there, bro. There he is! Hands up! All you got eyes on. Let me see your hands! Drop the gun! Drop the gun and put your hands up! Take the gun and show us your hands! He's down! Threat neutralized! All units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot, get hit. It was a clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. We're not done here yet. Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers your question. Fallen! On me! Oh, a homeboy guy sniped. Hey! Open the door! Police 
Police Department, come out with your hands up. I can't open the door stuck. I can't open it. Hands up now. Face the wall on your fucking knees. Oh, I... What's your name? Identify yourself. Henry. Henry Emily. <laughs> the fact that they ended it right there was kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we gonna cut it right there, buddy. You hear this boy last name, brother? Get him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, there it is, man. Please let me know. What else i should watch bro leave it down in the comments like the video if you enjoy if you're new here please subscribe for more are you afraid of the die because i'm not bro. i didn't scream once yet yeah me i'll see you in the next video peace